hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the employee entity repository and service in our spring boot application and in today's video we will create an api call to post a new employee so let's get started in our spring boot application we need to open our employee service and first of all we will create the method here and we need to annotate this class with at the rate required augs constructor because we want to inject the employee repository and after this we will write private final and we will inject our employee repository and we can name this as employee repository and after this we can start writing our method and this method will return one employee and we can name this method as post employee and in the params of this method we will accept employee and in the body of this method we will write a return statement and we will call our employee repository and because this is a jpa repository so we have some methods like save so we can call this save method to create a new employee and in the params we need to pass the entity which is employee in our case and with this our post employee method is completed now we need to create an endpoint to call this method and to do that first of all we will create a new package so we will right click here and we will choose new package and we will name this package as controller now we can right click on this controller package and we will create a new java class and we will name this class as employee controller and after creating this employee controller we need to annotate this with at the rate rest controller annotation and after the rest controller annotation we need to give the annotation for request mapping and for the url we will set it as slash api and after this we need to inject employee service in this controller and to do that we will give the annotation of required augs constructor and it is from lombok and now we can inject our service so we will write private final and we will mention employee service and we can name this as employee service and after this we will start writing the endpoint and this endpoint will return employee and we can name this as post employee and after this to get the request body we need to mention at the rate request body annotation and we will mention employee and in the body we will write a return statement and we will call our employee service dot post employee method and in the params we will pass employee and at the end we need to annotate this method with post mapping annotation and for the path we need to set it as slash employee and with this our post employee api call is completed now let's run our application and as you can see here our application is up on port 8080 without any errors now let's go to the postman and let's test our post employee api and here in the postman we need to choose the request type as post and then we need to write the url which is http localhost colon 8080 and then the api path is api slash employee and after this in the body we need to choose raw and then from this drop down we need to choose json and here we need to write the data for the employee and for the name of the employee i will pass employee one and for the email i will pass employee one at the rate gmail.com and for the phone number i am passing some random digits and for the department i am passing hr now let's click on this send button to call the api and as you can see we got 200 ok and we can see the employee got created now let's open our workbench and let's verify the entry and in the workbench we need to open this tables drop down and you can see the employee table now we need to click on this icon to view the data of this table and you can see we have a one employee got created with the same details 
and that's it for this video in the next video we will install bootstrap and router in our react application